I've always been a little bit of a rebel. Carousel diamond to the side straddle into the, the reverse grip body spiral. So that looks like. So Brooke, you'll be plenty challenged. There you go, beautiful. Generally, people hear stripper. When they hear pole dance, that's what they hear. They hear pole dance and they think that we're taking our clothes off in every single session. I just signed up. I thought, that just sounds naughty. I want to do it, you know. thought I was being so brazen. <laughs> I did my first spin on a pole and I hadn't smiled that big in so long. I just, I just fell in love with it. The owner at Pole Revolution is just really all about making people feel good about themselves and trying to make a really, really supportive environment. Um, so everyone is just really close. It's a really tight-knit community. You're vulnerable. When you come into a place like this, it makes you nervous. It's intimidating. And you have to be set at ease and, and made to feel good about yourself in your own skin. I started because I just gone through a breakup and I didn't ever like going to the gym or anything. There's so much you can already do, but then there's so much room for improvement. Even on the first day, I think a lot of people feel that way. Just like your first day, you learn like quite a few spins. It wasn't so squeaky. So myself and I think a lot of other people at the studio like to just find poles out and about in public because they are expensive. So when it's warm out, you can just go to, I mean, a lot of playgrounds have just their like support poles that are usually decent. I haven't tried. Stacy, what are you working on? Just my switching. Switching, okay, the leg switch. And Brooke? Uh, I'd like to do two point two and butterfly. Okay, so let's start with a layback. So, not to find out. Nope, I'm letting go. <laughs> it heals the self-image. It, I, it's almost for me a bit of a spiritual experience too. I can raise a lot of eyebrows by calling myself the pole dancing pastor and I get all kinds of questions about, well, do you take a pole into church on Sunday and preach your sermon from up there? And of course not, but um, it's kind of fun to play with that. Everyone at the studio just kind of knows that Diane is a pastor. It's just kind of like a topic of discussion. It plays into how she's just a very open, accepting person who really wants to teach people and make people feel good about themselves. Like I had one one girl even say, oh, Diane's like my pole mom. That church is um, that I'm serving now is fairly conservative. And so I have told just a select few about my studio. When I refer to it, I refer to it as a fitness studio. Pastor and owning a fitness studio. <laughs> I was asked to please remove my magnets from my car before I pulled into the church parking lot because they were embarrassed. She's not doing anything wrong. She has another business and it's a business I believe where she also ministers to people. She meets people where they're at and I think she ministers to the people that come to her there also in a different way. Okay, here you go, flatten it out. There it is. Nice. Do you know how to do a happy dance? Oh, what? Would, you, would, you, would you mind showing us your happy dance? I think it's cool as hers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice job. We're not just physical beings here and spiritual beings here, that those mix, we are, we're actually spiritual beings in a physical body, and that physical body is a sexual body.
we're created that way. You know, in God's image doesn't mean <laughs> that, that God pulled that part of us from some other part of God's imagination. I believe God is a sexual being. God created that. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> You kind of sounded like you were giving birth. Yes. <laughs> Others see it as a very evil thing. They see the pole as a phallic symbol. And if we're climbing up a pole, we're actually climbing up a penis, you know. Give me a break. It's not what people think when you think pole dancing. This is, it, it, was, it was very nice, very beautiful. And it was really very inspiring to see the strength and the grace in these people that were performing. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Uh, I've seen us come in touch with our sexual selves, our sensual selves, and learn these bodies were made to move in certain ways, and those are not harmful, not unhealthy ways. I want to be able to march in the Pride Parade again. I can't do that serving the church I'm serving. I want to put a pole on a trailer and march in the Pride Parade and have some of my students and instructors on that pole, in the parade. That's my Here's ultimate. Scene. Lay back, hand flashes. Flash, flash. <laughs> I know the chorus, we all know the chorus. Two, three. Those things would shock them, and I want them to know that that's really who I am, and that part has been suppressed while I've been serving them. I think I just need to be honest and open and real and not have to hide this very important part of who I am.